Titanfall 2 could be one of the biggest titles of early 2017. Doesn't such a game revolving around machine and man deserve to be open world with the thrill of PvP multiplayer combat? And what is this talk about magic and an actual single player campaign? Hmm. And since it's EA's new IP, will it run off the renowned Frostbite engine this time? Hello there, my fellow Open World Gamers. What's up? It's Robbie with Open World Games, and I am joined by my twin bro, Ryan. What's happening, everybody? So recently, Forbes interviewed lead writer of Titanfall 2, Jesse Stern, about the new game now coming in what we suspect to be early 2017. Yeah. And Forbes interviewed the lead writer of the game because unlike the original, it will have a full blown single player campaign nice telling a story on a grounded dirty human and real environment with get this a bit of magic hmm. yes you heard right magic yeah so a lot of people cringed when they heard this about destiny initially but look how that turned out quite brilliantly actually they managed to meld that right into the gameplay now titanfall tease us what could be lying across the levels were large creatures perhaps these could be incorporated into the story somehow as well and somehow tell us the story behind this magic we'll have to wait and find out though but that sure would be an interesting take on the subject and titanfall 2 is being described as grand global colonial warfare retelling the story of the american revolution and the american civil war but in space, this is what Jesse Stern had to say about this. He said, We imagine the next generation of immigrants moving out to the new frontier of an inhabitable planet. Rather than taking a traditional sci-fi approach to that, we wanted to look at how that would happen practically. What the ships would look like and with machines that were designed for excavation and construction, Demolition and working the land, and what happens when they are turned into instruments of war. Mm. He goes on to say there will be a marriage between science and, again, he says magic, but it will be very grounded and realistic, which I'm thankful for. I definitely want it to be yeah. more of a real, realistic approach. Because yeah, we don't Titanfall, want to see wizards right, roaming right. around the battlefield. That would right. be weird. And with Titanfall as one of EA's new IPs, it could be possible it may end up running off the Frostbite engine. This is one of our favorite engines in yes, the gaming industry. Definitely. It is the same engine powering the Battlefield and Star Wars Battlefront games. This would be a huge step in the right direction since the Source engine, which powered the original, is outdated. Stern is also working to bring Titanfall to TV with the help of Lionsgate, so it appears that Respawn really isn't joking around about its Titanfall universe, and that's why it would make a fantastic open world game. When Abby Heppy Community Manager was asked about Titanfall 1 being open world, this is what she said. She said, It didn't fit the style of the game we were making, Tons of mechanics and design elements need to change or be different if you're creating an open world game. Our style of gameplay fit best in more contained environments. It's certainly fun to imagine an open world Titanfall game though. So there's, she leaves that open there and it would be awesome to see this happen. But who knows? Anything's possible. Yes, it would be amazing indeed. Having your mech as your own base and home would be fantastic roaming a sci-fi open world. Oh my gosh. Customizing your pilot and Titan would open up a wealth of RPG options as well. And the tease of these massive alien life forms on these planets needs to be explained. We'd love to see this treatment for a Titanfall game. And we really enjoyed the first Titanfall. I loved that game. I yeah. got it on day one. And although a bit shallow with no single player campaign, we knew there was immense potential for this franchise and we are very hopeful that Respawn will tap into it. So thanks guys for watching Open World Games and if you haven't already, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment below. What are you guys looking forward to most in Titanfall 2 and what are your expectations? And of course, we'll be covering it more and more here at Open World Games. Yes, thanks guys and we will see you later.